The Florida Everglades is one of the last remaining natural habitats in the world. It's home to alligators, crocodiles, rare birds, and snakes. Find it, Pete. Find it, Pete. It's not very often you see beagles making their way through the sawgrass, but this is no ordinary beagle. His name is Python Pete, and he's doing an important job working for the National Park Service. As far as I know, I think Python Pete is the first python tracking dog in the world. Burmese pythons are not native to the Everglades, and they are disrupting the natural ecosystem. Officials say the snakes were more than likely dumped by owners that could not care for them. Adult pythons can grow to lengths of 15 feet or more. Pete, find it. Park officials Pete, hope dogs it. like Pete will help Please, find Pete. the snakes so they can study them. When people release these things, they don't really think about the implications to the ecosystem. These animals are top predators, they eat anything, and they are definitely eating our native wildlife. Find it, Pete, find it, find it, find it, good boy! And most dogs have a, a sense of smell that's thousands of times more keen than our own, and he's, his whole world just revolves around his nose. As you can see, Pete's real excited to get this python behind me, but the main challenge for Pete will be to determine whether he's tracking a native species or an actual python, and that'll determine whether Pete graduates or not. Most pythons that are found end up being euthanized. The moral of the story, exotic animals should be left in their natural habitats or cared for by people who truly understand them. For the Pet Report, I'm Mitch Wilder.